Hi, uh, it's Virtual Medians part 6. Uh, so, we're gonna start texturing the wheel. So, let's go to, let's create a simple plane outside. And, uh, just drag it across. Uh, 40 segments by 40. That's fine. Uh, now go to Modify Panel, with Plane selected, and add a Bend modifier. Uh, angle will be minus 90 degrees. Bend axis on X, limit effect, and uh, just drag that to get this nice smooth corner. So keep going, keep going till you're actually gonna get this nice smooth corner. There we go. That's what we're looking for. So if I zoom out, as you can see, we're getting a nice smooth corner from it. Actually, that might be a little bit too much. Uh, Maybe just something like that will work as well. Uh, drag that back a little bit. That's fine. Uh, just try to get a nice angle of it. Something like that. Just hit Alt W and uh, just zoom out a little bit. And maybe something like that. And uh, hit Control C to create a camera go back to perspective view and as you can see there is our camera uh, after you've done that just apply a standard material to the plane just a standard grey shader so apply black map the standard grey shader and uh, after you've done that just you'd have to do that I just like like black lines so create light standard light and skylight so create any way in your scene, doesn't really matter where. Go to ca camera 1, go to rendering, uh, render, and uh, you want to go to common, scroll down, assign render, and you want to assign mental ray. So click on this box, it's going to be on scan line, select mental ray, and hit OK. Uh, after that, click indirect illumination, uh, select the final gather. Let's just do that for. No, actually, let's do it on medium now. And the uh, low illumination as well. And after you've done that, just hit render and uh, let this render out. So, I'm just doing the basic render. I'm just not going to copy it and make all these. And we can render the period. So, you just think the specific ones done. Okay, so the render is finished and that's our final image. So, let's just make a copy of that clone and uh, just minimize that. Uh, switch off the rendering tab and uh, hit M for material editor and uh, just scroll down to the bottom. You can start from the top, whatever. Uh, get click this, get material and uh, select A and D, so arch and design. Just double click and uh, let's just make a few copies of that. And uh, we just want to rename that. Anything, just change the names. So for the beginning we're gonna start with the rubber. So it's already got the presets done. So as you can see, rubber. And uh, let's just call that tire. So apply that to the tire. Uh, for this one we'll be actually creating a s uh, screws. So if we just go down, select the chrome here. Yeah. And uh, just apply that to the little screws. There we go. Uh, and for this one, we're going to make uh, uh, let's create ma made plastic. Just change that color to something darker. Okay, close. And uh, just apply that to the where the logo gonna be. Uh, after that, go to the new slot get material and uh, select car paint so after that after you done that select the color just go to something light silver and uh, never do completely white because it doesn't really work that way and apply that to the rim and uh, I just kick the render now see how it's gonna look so I'm just gonna rendering render 
and uh, hit render and uh, just gonna pause the video and come back when it's done okay so the render is done as you can see we started to get there but let's just switch that off for now and uh, hit M oops what was that apply that to the tube one and uh, to the spikes as well and uh, for the screws let's actually use uh, metal so arch and design actually we can use the same chrome doesn't really matter oops moved my camera one go to perspective view and, uh, just zoom in on all the screws and everything so screws okay these ones as well cylinders okay so after we've done that so just go to the camera one uh, go to rendering environment uh, click environment map select bitmap that just select image something colorful in this case I'm just gonna select fiesta pick the front of it and uh, just click render so it's gonna give us some reflections so yeah let's make a render see what we're gonna get okay so I ha cancel this rendering in the middle of it so because if we click on environment and open material editor go to the empty slot and uh, just drag that here so as a copy and uh, as you can see that's what we're getting to go here that didn't work the way I wanted to didn't it mm. let's see what we can Okay, let's try instance and uh, just to it doesn't work the way I really want to. So, alright, let's actually for environment map. Let's just uh, go to the bitmap. Just change that to something. Actually, let's switch that map off and just uh, change that to something like nice white. There we go. And uh, after we've done that, just uh, move the tire somewhere a little bit more in the middle. Uh, go to rendering, render, uh, illumination, and uh, diffuse bounces to one. And uh, just hit render. So, I'm gonna come back when it's done. Okay, so there we got render, and uh, if we just compare that to the one before, let's minimize that, and uh, compare these two, as you can see, there is a very big difference. So, yeah, this is gonna be it for this tutorial, and uh, I'm gonna continue making a video on uh, actually modeling break this kind of canopy. So, if you wanna stay tuned and just watch that, continue watching it, then go ahead. But for the rim part, this is it. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Hope you learn. So, see you in the next dot.